Hello, my name is David Mulvihill. I'm the executive head chef here in the Station House Hotel and Signal Restaurant in Kilmarston in County Mead. I would like to welcome you to our first series of cookery quick tips. And if you have any ideas or suggestions, please contact us on Facebook and Twitter. We'd be delighted to hear from you. Okay, and here we have a leg of lamb. All our lamb here we have in the station house comes from um, Kilmeson itself, up in the village. We have a company up there called Donnelly's who rear their own lamb and uh, they bring it down to us every week. So you get your butcher, he will get your leg of lamb for you and he will cut it up and he will tie it up for you. But today I'm just going to show you a couple of different ideas of what we can do with our leg of lamb. Okay, first off, here's our leg. If we want to roast this leg of lamb, we want to get good flavour into it, we're just going to cut some holes in this one. Just like, okay, we're just going to stud the leg of lamb with some garlic. So just make a little sliver, slide in the garlic. If you want to take a lot of garlic, it might overpower your lamb. So I would suggest maybe four or five, maybe four or five, six little studs and get it right into it. And then what we're going to do is we're just get some salt and pepper and we're going to roll the leg of lamb and some salt and pepper. And here we have our lamb almost ready for roasting. We also have some fresh basil here. We're going to take some of this fresh basil and we're just going to stick it in around it so the flavour of the basil and the lamb work absolutely superb. And we'll seal it in a hot pan and when it's sealed we're going to wrap it in tin foil and then we're going to slow cook it for four hours in a medium oven, maybe 160 degrees. Okay, also with a leg of lamb, another nice idea, is especially this time of year, is to take our leg of lamb and maybe cut it for a barbecue. And it's very easy to cut this leg of lamb. Just take it as a full slice. And we're going to slice it down one inch thick. And we're going to cut, these are our equivalent of some lamb steaks. There you have one and two. And you can just cut the whole leg down. And what we have is some beautiful lamb steaks. And in each leg you'll get maybe seven, eight. So that's a lot for all the family. And these will work beautiful on the barn. And for our marinade is to crush garlic. Easy way to crush garlic. And there you go, crushed garlic. I'm going to got some olive oil here and some onion and a little bit of basil. So to cut the onion, we're just going to cut the onion in half and we're going to chop the onion. And here is the best way to cut our onion. Take half an onion, get a good sharp knife and we're going to slice this onion possibly three quarters of the way back, back here. And we're going to come right across the whole way. We're going to cut it three more times in the face, once, two eyes, three times. And now to get the onion really small, we're just going to slice it right down. There you have beautifully chopped onion. We're going to put this in our marinade and we're going to put some nice fresh basil we have here. Again, don't chop the basil, leave the basil whole, the leaves are pretty good. Don't cut it. The marinade, the chops in this, leave it for as long as you can. Half an hour would be good, two hours would be even better, maybe three or four hours. Go to do it for three or four hours, keep it in the fridge. So there is our lamb steak. Okay, another little blood idea with our leg of lamb is we're going to butterfly it. So going to take off this little flap here at the bottom. And we're going to slice it right open. And you're going to have one big, lovely fat piece of, flat piece of lamb. This would be beautiful in a barbecue. It takes probably about one and a half hours. Take a little leg of lamb, slice down, open up ever so slightly. And what we're going to do, we're just going to back flatten this. Just get some cling film and a little meat hammer. And we're going to slowly... make this as flat as we can. There we have it, a flattened out leg of lamb. We're going to rub it with some onions, some chopped garlic, some fresh basil from Dunsany Farm, a little bit of Boyne Valley honey, a little shake like that, I'm shy, and some salt and some pepper. Garlic, onions, some fresh basil, some honey, salt and pepper, and we're just going to rub it in. So you get all those nice flavours into the meat. We have 
our leg of lamb, ready for the barbecue or ready for the oven. And another lovely piece of meat is what we call the rack of lamb. The rack of lamb is the loin of lamb and it's on the bone. Butchers or any good butcher will have the piece ready trimmed for you. This to get a beautiful rack of lamb just for one person or for two you can cut it whole or leave it whole for two, for two, three people. Season it with some salt and pepper. There we go, nicely seasoned. And we're going to cook that in the oven for 25-30 minutes. If we want a little bit pink, 25 minutes. A little bit more well done, 35 minutes. And another beautiful cut for this is we just take little cutlets. So this is how our butcher will give you your cutlets. At the rack of lamb, we'll have little lamb cutlets. Again, three to four minutes either side on a hot pan, three to four minutes either side on a barbecue, will give us a lovely medium pink piece of meat. There we go. And here we have our succulent rack of kilmes and lamb served with just some simple mashed potatoes and some fresh seasoned asparagus and a little bit of our homemade demi glaze over the lot. There you go, rack of lamb. And another beautiful idea we can do with a rack of lamb is we're going to wrap it in some puff pastry with some basil. What we have done is we've taken a piece of lamb, this is the bit we've already prepared, and we've just sealed that lovely piece of fillet, we've sealed that on a hot pan pastry here, you just got to trim the pastry up into a nice little size. This is puff pastry. Our seasoned piece of meat, just place it in the middle. A little bit of basil on top. This is very, very similar to what everybody knows as a beef wellington. So this is our little lamb wellington. And we have some a little beaten egg. Here's the beaten egg. We're just going to dabble this all around the edges of the pastry. We're just going to simply roll it, roll it and seal it again. Like so. And we're going to trim just all the way around the edge. And so it stays tight together. We're just going to stud all around the edge with a fork. And here we have a little fillet of lamb with some fresh basil and puff pastry. 25 minutes in the oven. And here we have, after 25 minutes in a medium hot oven, the fillet of lamb wellington with some fresh basil. And this is how we serve it in a restaurant in the station house. There you go, fillet of lamb wellington. Thank you for joining us at our first Station House Cookery Quick Tip School. We hope to see you here shortly and all that you saw today and possibly join us for our next Cookery Quick Tips in a couple of weeks time. Thank you.